Time for Christian Car Guy Theater with today's episode River Rock Retaliation Part 2. Previously on River Rock Retaliation, Satan's principality and demon over Colorado, Nagadana has gathered her three strongest demons, Zemia, Nakashi, and Shaddam, to bring hell to Mayor Elvira Merriweather, Pastor Jack, and our friends in River Rock. The persecution as a result of the kingdom fruit God blessed them with in his work with Lazarus and photographer Brad. The accuser's files have been examined on FBI agent Kent, Elvira, and Pastor Jack as the serpent's plan is starting to hatch. Nagadana gleefully examines Elvira's file. Oh, this is most helpful. It says here that Elvira had bought some tiki torch oil (laughs) that looked identical to her husband's apple juice container, which she accidentally put in the fridge. Oh, 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 great work, (laughs) Xenia. Yes, (laughs) Elvira's husband, who already had pneumonia, just took a small taste, and that was all it took. Death came quickly. Elvira's husband dropped the tiki torch oil and dropped dead for all to see. Elvira made an agreement with the lie that her husband's death was all her fault. All her fault, and of course, that gives us our legal right to pour on the guilt and the shame. (laughs) That's spectacular. Oh, no wonder she fears exposure. She thinks she must be punished. If everyone really knew what she did, oh, <laughs> fear has to do with punishment, you know. We yes, have 1 John 4, 18. It's our legal right to torture these fools. Do you remember the verse, Zemia? Oh, yes. We know how our leader... The father of lies likes us to know their Bible so we can twist the word and use it against these disgusting humans. 1 John 4.18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves punishment. The one who fears is not perfected in love. Now, let's see Agent Kent's file. You know how these sons of Adam love to judge with their own measure. Who has Agent Kent judged? Oh, I believe I have just the thing, Imperious Commander Negadonna. In high school, Agent Kent had a crush on Sue Truesdale. He finally asked her out for a date after being scared to death for years to ask her. And on their date at the drive-in, his old buddy Brian Duncan thought it would be funny to put sneezing powder in their pepper shaker. (laughs) Not only did Agent Kent sneeze his head off, he vomited and passed out. (laughs) Oh, that is so rich, Nakashi. Oh, and I see that Agent Kent has always blamed his sister, Marsha. Oh, what a lie. I love it. Yes, he saw her a few cars over laughing that night and was convinced it was his sister who played that trick. (laughs) And it just so happens that his sister looks and talks like Mara Elvira Merriweather. Ah. Ah, no wonder he was so angry when the mayor talked down to him. His sister, Marsha, has always done that to him. You see, that's just the kind of bitter root we need, Nakashi. Unforgiveness. Judgment. Just like lambs to the slaughter. And now at last, but not least, Shaddam, what do you have on Pastor Jack? Oh, I have Despair. <laughs> the ultimate slap in God's face, Nagadana-san. <laughs> he really doesn't believe God can come through in his son Jeff's life. He avoids discussion about his son like the plague. Oh, oh, I like the plagues. <laughs> his son Jeff is a heroin addict. Uh, opioids, you know. All the rage. (laughs) Secretly, 
Pastor Jack believed the lie that his son is beyond all hope. And if the church really knew all that went on, he would be dismissed. <laughs> oh, so... He's afraid, is he? Oh, hiding, is he? Wearing a mask. Oh, it's just the way we like it. <laughs> Shaddam, begin the unmasking of a good pastor. Plant the thought in his son's mind to call his old friend Jimmy. Yes, Jimmy the Jeep boy. For the money he needs for his habit. <laughs> The Under the Hood gang sees and is aware that the demons are plotting. All of a sudden in prayer, Anita Intake sees something amazing. Dear, dear Jesus, we need your help. We need your power and your strength. Please, Jesus. Oh, oh, Arriba, Arriba, Fernando, my husband, look up, look up. Do you see them? Oh, Fernando, those who are for us are greater than those against us. Have you ever seen anything more glorious? That's manifold beauty, me husband, Fernando Fuel Injector. <laughs> Caspita, my little Anita. I have never seen anything like that gigantic one. He's amazing. Colossus, muy grande. If I may inject, look, so many more are coming. Oh, gracias, gas tank. Do you think those are many, many warrior angels who are answering our prayers? God is answering, Fernando. We just have a front row seat, and boy, oh boy, I would say we need to keep up the prayers, team. The stakes must be awful high to bring on all this. This is no time to be running on fumes. Time to pray, Frenchy Fender. Oh, mais oui, Gracie. Oh, notre père, qui est au ciel. Oh, oh, I mean, our father, who is in the heavens. Sacre bleu! The angels! Oh, aren't they glorious and magnifique, Mosey Motor Oil? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! More refined than I ever thought even possible, Frenchie! Yeah! Uh huh, because, see, I knew that God answered prayer, but to see it right here, right now, like this, we are just some oily, crude characters, Gracie. So why, pray tell, are we seeing this? A gift to the body of Christ. As Frenchie Fender always says, it's the church, and our job is to encourage the body to prayer. That looks like firepower to me, and we need it. Let's start praying, team, that we can find a way, the lowly, oily, crude characters that we are, to encourage the church. Jimmy, Pastor Jack, Elvira. Oh, yeah, Gracie, and Lazarus, Brad. Uh, Nahum and Nebby and Bob and Bonnie. Oh, hanging on tight in prayer, like Jacob's grip. And I know tight tension. After all, I'm Tammy Tensioner. Just then, the demon Shaddam is the first to spot God's warrior angel. Guys, Nagatana san! Big, big trouble. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Did you think they wouldn't put up a fight? Of course they're here. Yeah, the big guns. But lies are lies. And as long as we have the humans' agreements, we are free to the spoil. Lies. <laughs> it's all my fault. And Pastor Jack, my son is beyond hope. My church must never know. Exactly. <laughs> and what is the ultimate treachery against their... Savior who calls himself the truth? Lies. 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 <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> yes, they are stuck in their lies. Tune in next month for the next exciting episode of River Rock Retaliation. Now here's Danny Dipstick and Randy Radiator to review today's episode. <laughs> Randy, these principality demons seem to lie abroad 
for the rest of the country. <laughs> yeah, Daddy. Just like politicians, they get on the merry-go-round and put a spin on everything. It's, it's really more than we can unwind without God's help. Now that, that's why studying the Bible helps you see the truth, and prayer helps you hear it from the source. And Elvira, Agent Kent, and Pastor Jack's hope is found in the Gospel of John. Chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. This is what it says. So, Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Oh, <laughs> We do some crazy, crazy stuff when we buy the lies, Danny. We are actually enslaving ourselves when we do that. Oh. <laughs> Randy, if those lies get in our hearts, we can't wait for a defibrillator radiator. <laughs> no way, because we'd be between a shock in a hard place. <laughs> See, if we were between our lives and our hearts, we're between a rock and a hard place. But I said a shock in a hard place. Oh, boy. <laughs> Say goodbye, Danny. <laughs> See you later, radiator.